For those who scrap electronic waste, the process of identifying and grading circuit boards can be a little bit confusing. This series will help you to identify e-waste circuit boards. In today's episode, we're going to talk about low-grade boards and mid-grade boards. To understand the discussion of low-grade versus mid-grade, there's essentially two things to ask yourself. What was the board used for? Was it primarily power? And if it was primarily power, is it brown? Uh, <clears throat> and the classic brown, what I'm talking about, is a brown brittle board. So here you see a board off of a CRT television. And you can tell right away that this is a brown brittle board. All you gotta do is give a, give a little twist and it just snaps, right? So you've got brown brittle board, low grade, period, end of story. Now it doesn't mean that there aren't components on here that might have some value in them for you to take off. Here's some big ICs, here's a transformer. Some of these older style resistors might have gold plating inside of them. But from the perspective of a board, this is a low grade board. Now, this is where we start to diverge and a lot of it depends on the sophistication of your yard. If your yard is primarily a scrap yard, a metal yard, and they also buy e-waste, then they probably only have three categories, high, medium, low. And so for that kind of yard, anything that has a lot of power kind of components on it, such as these boards, would be called low grade boards. They see anything brown, they see any big power stuff, they're probably going to call it a low grade board. They may even do the same for green boards that have a lot of power type components on them. They would call them low grade boards. A more sophisticated e-waste buyer will differentiate and they will say, well, wait a minute, it's brown, it's green, it's got circuitry on it. We're gonna put that in mid-grade because there's more to it than just the cruddy power part of it. Boardsort.com is probably one of the most sophisticated e-waste buyers in the United States. They set a standard that other e-waste buyers seek to achieve. For boardsort.com, the low-grade board is really easy. Brown, brown brittle board, low-grade. Brown green or green with big transformers and stuff, mid-grade. Hey everybody, I just want to address this real quick because there may be some of you that understand this or have seen this. I've just told you that if it's a brown board, it's a low-grade board. But, there's always buts, all right? There's, isn't it, it's like there's always a but, right? There are some older brown boards that are, that are just nothing but IC chips. They are in essence telecom boards, but they just happen to be brown. You don't run into them a whole lot. Now, if you go back and you look at my series on when I took apart the traffic control system, you will see some of the circuit boards that came out that were brown and they were not low grade boards. So in your older high end electronics, you may find brown boards that are telecom or a higher grade than, than a low grade board. Don't stress out over it. If you pulled it out of a television, an old stereo system, an old tuner system, it's gonna be a brown brittle board, it's low grade. Okay, so don't stress. If you pulled it out of some old high-end electronics and it's brown and it's got a whole lot of IC chips on it, then it's probably gonna be some sort of higher grade, perhaps even as high as Telcom. All right? All right, let's get back to the, this stuff. So with that in mind, let's look at this. We, we've already said this is a low-grade board, right? Here we've got brown, uh-oh, green and there's components on it mid-grade brown 
green. But this board, very brittle. There really isn't much here of any kind of value. I'm throwing it in the low grade. Brown, kind of tan looking. Bunch of big stuff on it. Heavy power stuff. Up, oh, green. For boardsort.com, mid grade. Not sure about your yard. My yard, low grade. My local yard, low grade. Boardsort.com, mid grade. Brown, big transformer, solenoids. Green, component. Boardsort.com, mid grade. My local yard, low grade. Look at this little chunk. Brown, there's an IC, there's aluminum. Oh, there's a green thing with some sort of fed or something like that. Boardsort.com, mid grade. My local yard, low grade. This board, brown, big capacitor, a plug, toroid or copper donut, some people call it, transformer. Here's a copper coil. For my yard, low grade. It's kind of a bluish green on the back side, but it's got MLCCs and ICs on it. Boardsort.com, mid grade. My yard, low grade. So now we cross into the green boards. <clears throat> this is where I think a lot of people can start to get confused. You look at the board, it's green on both sides. That one's blue. This is green on both sides. This is green on both sides. And it's got big knocking power stuff on it. Now again, I have to emphasize, how, this is so important. You have to know your buyer. Boardsort.com, the one of the most sophisticated e-way spires in the United States. For them, green on both sides. Big components on it, it's mid-grade. For my buyer here, locally, this is going to be low-grade because it's got all this junk on it. All right, big capacitors, transformers. For them, they're just calling this a green power board. I have another potential buyer um, not too far from me. They're even taking it to the point of they want the brown low grade separate from the green low grade. So for them, this is what they would call a green low grade because it's got all this power stuff on it. But for boardsort.com, mid grade. I'm really not trying to confuse you. It really comes down to understanding your buyer. I refer to boardsort because that is a lot what a lot of us use as a standard. And for board sort, this is going to go in the mid grade category. Here's another example of mid grade for board sort, but a local yard might call this low grade because you've got all of this stuff here that are just big, chunky, clunky power components. And then you've got this part here that you would say, oh yeah, that's, that's clearly mid-grade. So I could, if I wanted to, cut this part out, sell this to my local yard as mid-grade, sell this as low-grade, or I could just chuck it in with the low-grade. Now again, there's gonna be components here that you may wanna harvest. These are aluminum heat sinks, you got transformers, you have solenoids that are gonna have copper coils that can be sold as, as copper bearing motors and will have silver contacts in them if you're into collecting silver contacts. Uh, there's some ICs here. So it's a mid-grade board, but there may be things to harvest if you're into harvesting it. Here's another example of a green board, green on both sides. This side even has some flat packs and ICs. And then over here, we have some obvious power kind of stuff. But we also have ICs, then here we have a bunch of copper coils. So mid-grade board, boardsort.com. And I believe for my local yard, even they would take this as a mid-grade board. I believe that so much that I am putting it in the mid-grade board category. 
Now, when we look at these two boards, we can see that they're essentially identical, except one is green, one is blue, one still has the flat pack that has been removed from the green board. Now, the question that you might be asking yourself is mid-grade or peripheral? There's a very clear delineation between mid-grade and peripheral. That delineation is visible gold. No visible gold in the mid-grade. That makes it a peripheral board. So by that definition, we're going to call these mid-grades because there's no visible gold to push them up to peripheral. Of course, like everything, there are some exceptions. But that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. This series is dedicated to helping scrappers identify printed circuit boards so that you can make the most money when you sell your e-waste. We refer to a standard that is established by BoardSort.com, one of the most sophisticated e-waste buyers in the United States. But remember, the only thing that matters is what your buyer is willing to pay. We'll see you on the next one.